Hey Airbit, I'm Ben, I'm Airbit Senior Product Manager, and today we're gonna go through sound packs on Airbit and getting your sound pack set up and what it looks like on your Infinity stores. So you can get to the sound packs right through your dashboard here, also in the music and media section of the menu. Now let's go to the manage sound pack section. So here you can see a few things. I have a draft sound pack set up and then I also have a couple sound packs that I've already published. Uh, you can also just filter by to just see your drafts, just see published. We can create a new sound pack. You can do a search. Uh, a couple details. This number here is just the number of items in the sound pack. So this pack has 231 uh, different files in it. Uh, and then this will allow me to see some of the specific details about this sound pack. And then I can go in to edit the sound pack and things like that. So let's go ahead and create a new sound pack. This first page is where I just upload the different files. So you're gonna upload your main zip file, which has all the files in your sound pack. And then you're also gonna upload a master preview. And the master preview is any MP3 file that you wanna use as the previewable main file for this sound pack for any of your potential customers. And you can also include up to four samples directly from the sound pack. And this is just so that your potential customers can hear exactly what some of the files sound like directly from the pack. And you can include up to four or not include any if you don't want to. All right, so let's go ahead and start an upload here of a new sound pack. So we got the zip here that is gonna start uploading and you can see the progress bar at the bottom. And let's also add a master preview file and the master preview and any of the playable samples are all going to be mp3 files and i'm also going to upload a few sample files from this sound pack and again these are just intended for your potential customers to be able to listen to a few of the actual base files that are included in the pack and you can see in the bottom left here we have this upload progress indicator and you're going to be able to go ahead and step through the rest of this sound pack uploading wizard as these uploads progress. All right, so let's go to the next step. On the next page, we're going to be entering all the details about the sound pack. So title, description, YouTube links, some different metadata, things like that. And it's going to be really valuable for you to enter as much of this as precisely as possible because your potential customers on your Infinity Store will be able to search for, filter, and sort by all these different parameters. And I'll show you that in a couple minutes on the Infinity Store, but let's fill some of these in here now. Okay, so I already have a title and I'm gonna plug in a description really quickly here. And next, let's assign some artwork. So I can upload a file from my computer or I can add some from my artwork library. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a file from my artwork library. Let's select this one and we're good to go there. Next, you'll see a field for a YouTube link. And if you include a link here, that YouTube video will be embedded in this sound packs page on your Infinity Store. And I'll go ahead and enter a link here. All right, great. The next field is sound types and sound types is required. You need to select at least one. And this one, mine I think has a bunch of loops in it. So I'm gonna select loops here. You can select multiple and we have an, an option of other if what you're uploading doesn't have something represented in this list. And the next field is tags and tags is required. You're required to enter at least three and again, these fields just make your sound pack searchable, findable, filterable on your Infinity Store and anywhere else that your pack might be listed. And the final field here is instruments and instruments is optional, but again, it is helpful to include whatever instruments might be included in this pack because it helps, again, your potential customers sort, filter, and search on your Infinity Store. All right, so that's it for the detail page. Let's save and continue. The next step in the wizard is licensing and visibility. And visibility is just related to if this sound pack is viewable and available in your stores and elsewhere, 
or if it's only available to you in the dashboard. So if it's set to private, it's only available in the dashboard. And if it's set to public, this is available to view and purchase on your stores. Next, we have the licensing section. And I'm not gonna go into details of, of licensing and, and licensing and agreement management in this video, but your existing licensing templates for sound packs will be shown here. And we provide you with a couple defaults to start with. And I'm gonna turn both these licenses on uh, for purchase. So that means that my visitors will be able to purchase this pack at these two different, with these two different licenses. And here you can customize the specific price for this sound pack for these licenses in this section. All right, so let's click next here. And this is our confirmation page. So we see a few details that we entered. We can finish this and, and go ahead and, and publish it. We can also go back and edit all the other steps from this page. So you can see I can go back here, go back all the way to the detail page, but let's go ahead and go forward and finish. All right, and so now we're back home and you can see here in the published sound packs list, it's the first one, Retro Vibes 3. So from this page, I can also click in and get to the detail page. I can edit all the content that I just entered from here. Uh, so these are always editable. I can change the licensing, the cost for any future pur purchases. All the details can be updated. And that's pretty much all the features from the management side and the dashboard side for sound packs. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like in the Infinity Store. All right, so this is my Infinity Store. So let's look at the sound packs page. And here you can see the three published sound packs that I have on my store. And from this sound packs page, we can do a few things. And these are all new features. So we can filter for all the metadata that we entered on this sound pack. So if I, for example, filter for synth, we can see the sound pack that I just created. All right, so let's clear that. So from this page also, your customers are gonna be able to add these to your cart, see the different licenses that are available, look at the actual terms and conditions that you've set for these, and yeah, add these, add one of these licenses to the cart. And your customers are also gonna be able to listen to the master preview file that you set for this sound pack from this page. So let's look at the detail page for the sound pack. So on the detail page, you can see all the metadata we added in the, in the dashboard. So we can see the description here, the tags, instruments, and sound types. Um, you can also see the video that we included for this and they can play the video. They can also obviously add to the cart, add this sound pack to their cart, uh, look at the terms and conditions. Uh, and yeah, they can play the video here. And they're also going to be able to play the samples that we included when we set this up in the dashboard. And below those, you can see there's actually a file list. So this is where your customers can actually look at all the files in this package, in the zip that you uploaded. So they'll be able to see exactly what's included and what they might purchase. And that's pretty much it for Airbit's sound packs, both the Infinity Store and our studio dashboard. So I hope this was helpful. And as always, if you have any questions or requests or recommendations, definitely reach out. You can hit me up at product at airbit.com and you can always reach community support at support at airbit.com. And yeah, let's get out there and make some awesome music.